Hey everybody, just wanted to say thank you guys very much for the love and the comments and the likes on uh, the Blue Claws post I put up uh, this morning. You know, we really appreciate your support. Really want to make our team as successful as possible. So we're hoping this marketing strategy and all the different marketing strategies we do help. But I also want to jump on and provide value uh, as best as I can as to buyers or newer agents or sellers, just things that happen in our everyday life as realtors um, that you should be aware of. So the most recent example that I want to talk about is Laura and I had a beautiful listing in Hamilton that we put up uh, about a week or two ago at this point. And as you can imagine, beautiful home had multiple offers over list price. And we went to everybody because the listing said sellers need to find a place to go. They need a new home. So we need someone who's flexible. Basically, don't force us to guarantee a closing date. You know, we know it can't go on forever, but we need you to be a little flexible. Maybe there's a grant of an extension after 60 days. You know, we get creative. There's all sorts of ways to hammer this down. So as you can imagine, everybody, every agent, every buyer said, yes, 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 yes. So we're flexible. We love the house. We just want it. Lo and behold, we go into attorney review. The agent got very cold to Laura and I, um, very rude, to be honest with you. And was one word answering us and we need to, you know, pick a closing date. They're not going to wait forever, which again, we specified up front. We know that, you know, we were looking for like a three month closing, but like after 60 days, you know, we would let you know if we haven't found anything, you know, maybe we need to close and do use and occupancy, all standard stuff that agents talk about, you know, day in and day out when trying to line up these closings. So we just got a weird vibe and, you know, the number two person who we really liked, the agent was so professional so kind, the, the complete 180 of what we were dealing with. Um, he just kept following up with us. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? And Laura and I were like, you know, I, I wish, uh, you know, this guy would step up, you know, if his buyers would just come up a little higher, you know, we didn't call for our highest and best. We told everybody just submit your best offer and, you know, we'll see what works. Sure enough, his, he texts us. He's like, if my guys come up to this number, would you consider taking them? And Laura and I, knowing what we were dealing with, we're like, I'm sure the seller would be more than happy to jump ship from these buyers and go to your client. And sure enough, that's what happened. You know, we jump ship and review, kill that deal. Not that we get joy out of killing deals. We don't want to kill deals. But, you know, when you start to change your terms around and change the tone, it went from being, oh, we're so excited to have your home to now we think we're going to control you and we're going to dictate, you know, your life. You know, unfortunately, that's just not the case. So what I would say is when you submit an offer, if you say you're going to be flexible, be flexible. Don't change the terms because you're not in control. Until that deal is under contract, anything could happen. And in this case, we backed away from the buyer who originally got accepted and we went to our number two. And it just shows being a kind and professional agent, you know, can most likely get the job done for you more often than not. So think about that as well.